Hello everyone and welcome to JDM24scale.com and today I wanted to show you a detail upset I shall be using on my current project okay as most of you know I am right now building the Lexus LFA kit from Tamiya and you can follow all the progress that has been done so far on JDM24scale.com and uh, to enhance it even more I shall be using a detail upset that was released by Hobby Design to turn this LFA into a special edition, which is right here. Okay, this is the Hobby Design HD030140, and it turns your Lexus LFA into the Nurburgring edition. Now, I may be a little bit late showing you this unboxing and review right now because this detail upset was released by hobby design when tamiya released the lfa kit if i remember correctly it was around 2011 and it's not produced anymore but from time to time i have seen ones of them show online for sale so this video might help you decide if it's worth buying or not when uh, one of them shows up for sale just a quick information about what this kit exactly is about. When Lexus released the LFA in 2010, they made it a limited edition run of 500 cars, and 50 of them were actually this special edition, which they called the Nürburgring edition, where Lexus themselves uh, modified some parts of the standard LFA are replaced with different items and Hobby Design decided to offer us the opportunity to build our own Nürburgring edition by using this set. Okay, a quick look at the outside. You can see this Okay, on the box, more information on this side and on the back we can see a real life Lexus LFA special edition okay how it should like how it should look like once you use this kit and complete the Tamiya LFA let's start opening and have a look inside to see what we actually get okay the typical hobby design box for these types of transcripts or detail upsets okay once we open everything was neatly packed inside several bags but to make my life easier, I have already taken all the parts out of the bags and uh, and lying over there. Okay, so these are the bags that all the parts were packed in, already removed from them. Okay, the only thing I didn't remove were actually the air valves, obviously. Okay, they are right there. Okay, because it's safer to keep them inside the bag. I'm sure of that. Let's see what we have included. Okay, we have a pair of seats. Oops. We also have the front spoiler, which goes beneath the front bumper. The rear spoiler. We have also the rims. Okay, which are four of them. Let's place them over here the pins so that we can turn the rims mm -hmm. into a um, male fitment especially for the Tamiya same as the original rims and also two small pieces of resin which are actually right there which are actually the front canards and will need to be attached to the front bumper also we have the instruction leaflet which is not exactly an instruction leaflet it's just four pictures of a real lexus lfa nurburgring edition and uh, so that it will help you realize where every part needs to be attached which i think is very easy to figure out so let's have a look at the parts one by one let's begin oops, once again with the seats okay i can say that all the items are typical hobby design high quality resin 
okay we have right there and that is the seat from the back side also right there okay and i have taken a look at the real special edition seats and i must say that they are pretty close when it comes to shape the only difference i have noted is in the shape of the middle part right there and also the origin the real seats have the recaro logo included beneath the uh, the holes for the harness but it's not included on the on these we don't have any recaro logo decals included right here as far as quality goes we have some pieces of extra resin that will need to be cut out like this chunk of resin right here okay and some general cleaning but it's nothing out of the ordinary also some uh, cleaning around the harness holes and you will need to open also these holes right here because on the real car they are actually open okay so that's those are the seats now let's have a look at the front spoiler which is this one over here okay the front bumper goes into here and it attaches beneath the front bumper we have some extra pieces of resin that will need to be removed on the there are two one on each side on the back and the hole this hole part beneath the spoiler will also need to be cut out and send it smooth but other than that other than cleaning where you will cut these chunks of resin uh, other than that it's nicely molded with only um, just some cleaning sanding needed before the actually applying primer the rear spoiler okay which is right there have the rear spoiler I can see that it's the shape is a little bit bent as we can see but uh, it won't be a major problem to get it back into shape maybe heat it up a little bit in the middle and keep it to shape and we'll see about the actual fitment once again you have a chunk of resin in the back just need to cut that out and some cleaning also necessary on other parts but overall it's nicely molded and ready to be attached okay so next there are the air valves okay which are let's die and okay they are right there the air valves four air valves and can be seen also in the picture right here the rims four of them two are wider than the other two the rear ones and the front okay easily identified by their length by their width okay as you can see the two in the back are wide and these are actually narrower okay as regards to size they are roughly the same size also and looking at the front over there there are actually some cleaning necessary to do as can be seen over here okay but <clears throat> the majority it's nicely molded with just uh, a couple of cleaning that is necessary to be done okay this is from the back side once again some cleaning on the edge but it's nothing major overall they are uh, nicely molded and everything the pins right there these need to be carefully cut out from the chunk of resin in the back sand it smooth and attached to the back side of each rim over there right there in the middle they need to be attached over there if you are in doubt, in doubt how to attach them perfectly straight I have a tutorial um, that explains my method of attaching them as straight as possible you can view that 
in my tutorial section on JDM24Scale.com There goes the, the pins and finally the canards Okay, once again you will need to cut them off from the chunk of resin Okay, be very careful, be very careful as it's easy to break the canards when trying to remove them Okay, and if we have a look at the pictures, they are featured over here and can be seen once again over here. Okay, the front spoiler can be seen here, rear spoiler, okay, the rims, and you will get a, an idea of the color also that will be required. All right, so that's all that is included. I hope you will find this video interesting. As I've said, you can follow all the progress on the on my Lexus LFA build on my website jdm24scale.com and one last thing if you're going as realistic as possible to the real thing which is the same the thing that I am trying to do with mine all the black parts are actually carbon fiber in real life on the real special edition LFA Okay, so we have the rear spoiler, the front lip spoiler, the canards, okay, they are all carbon fiber. So if you want to go full realistic, these parts need to be covered in carbon fiber. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next. Goodbye.